Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. My name is Monique. I'm on a financial health journey to create an inheritance for the generations to come. I want to do that through consistency and discipline. Today is Wednesday, June 19th. Happy Juneteenth, folks. Um, I am a recently married um, mother and myself and sweets. We got a whole bunch of kids and uh, we try to figure out a way to combine our future, our family and our finances because we want to make sure the decisions we're making now don't negatively impact us in the future. So thank you to anyone who's liked or commented on any of my videos and especially those that have chosen to subscribe to my channel. Truly started this as a way to hold myself accountable, but I understand, recognize, and appreciate the community as a whole. So if you're rocking with me on this journey, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't made up your mind yet, sit with me for a spell. At the end of this video, if it's content you find valuable or enjoyable, please feel free to subscribe. Today we are here to do a combo. You're getting a combo meal today. So I'm going to do a weekly budget check-in, but I'm also going to do a cash unstuffing. We don't have a lot of expenses throughout the course of the week, and I think we can combine both, and I can still stay around that 15-minute mark that I'm shooting for. And when I tell y'all I'm shooting for it, I am. I haven't hit it yet, but that is where I'm trying to get to. Um, so maybe this will help to encourage me to move a little faster in this in this video. Um so we're going to take care of both of those. I'll empty out my wallet as well. I got that sitting over here on the side also. Uh, I do want to let everybody know that my sweets encouraged me to start an Instagram page. So I did. Um, it's under my handle here on YouTube, my financial health journey. If you feel so inclined, please feel free to subscribe. And since he gave me that word of encouragement, I want to give it a, a word of encouragement for him as well. Um, my baby is a chef and he has his own seasoning that he sells right now to his um, content subscribers. And so if you want to check him out, you can go to Etsy. We decided to move his account um, or his business over to Etsy instead of having a separate standalone page. Um, just again, we're just storming through different ways that we can combine things and make things a little bit easier. Um, so if you want to check him out, he's under Etsy under Cowboy Chris Cooks and you can see his seasoning. And if you got any health concerns, his seasoning is fantastic because it tastes great. It's flavorful, <laughs> um, but he has definitely limited it to like no or low salt intake. Um, so um, please feel free to go and check him out. All right, here we go. As far as my calendar is concerned, let me move some of this stuff over and out of the way. Let's put that over there. I need this because this is our weekly budget check-in. So I do have to color co coordinate that. And my erasable um, pens that are different colors have not come in as of yet. They are stuck somewhere in Arkansas or Kansas or someplace. I, I forget where it is. Um, but hopefully they'll be here soon. So that means I've got my white out. All right, so we've got those over to the side. As far as my monthly overview is concerned, not much activity. Um, because the banks are closed on June 19th, um, I don't know if we'll see these clear over here. They may not clear until here. And then I'll be looking for this Amazon Prime as well. So these haven't cleared, but they are set amounts that auto draft. So I'm not concerned about those. And I figured this would be a good time to go ahead and finish out the budget. Plus, I'll be going out of town on Friday morning. So I've got a lot of content to try and batch record and get uploaded. And so we're going to go ahead and get started now. All right. Let's look at the income over here. So I had a rollover of 110. Variable account was 700 that I put in there. Bills account was 1500. No changes there. Suites gave me an additional $100. And we've decided where that money's going to go. And you'll see that later on in the budget. And then I pulled 65, or I will be pulling $65 from sync funds as a part of our cash unstuffing. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So this is incorrect because I just wrote that sinking fund amount down not too long ago. Um, I thought we were done. And then this morning I was trying to tidy up things before I started this video and I realized I forgot that amount. All right. Whiteout is already in effect. So 110 was the carryover. 700, 1500, um, 165. $2,475 and we'll have that in green. $2,475. All 
All right, fixed expenses, that should be okay. <laughs> I didn't have many of those. So water came out, it was a dollar less than I expected. And it did clear. So let me go ahead and mark that off as paid. And so my total for fixed expenses was 19. Um, here, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize for that. I think this is the only one that was off a little bit and I probably should have put that in red dog on it. Boy, I tell you. Someone told me, write it in pencil. A commenter said, write it in pencil and then write it in pen. Uh, she may be on to something. I may need to get to that point. 22 there. All right, so let's look at variable expenses for the week of June 14th through June the 20th. Um, and, and I don't know if I said that, but that's what I am doing as far as my weekly budget check-in. I run my weeks from Friday to a Thursday. Now today is Wednesday, but this will upload on Thursday and I am in the house. Uh, I am not going anywhere. And if there are any additional um, debits, are there any additional expenses? I'll um, tidy this up. And then when I do my budget with me, I'll let you guys know about it then. All right, so for groceries, I gave myself $100, I spent 82. For gas, gave myself 40, I spent 20. Home, I gave myself 40, I spent 24. Dining, gave myself 40, spent 26. Supplements, gave myself 25, that might be hard to see, and uh, spent 18. Xerxes, gave myself 10, but spent 22. Um, I took out the extra category, we're not using that anymore, and the money for myself and for uh, my daughter was 45 total. Now, Although I have them marked in green, and although I did not spend all of that money, remember, I now have an everyday binder that I leave the extra in. So regardless of whether or not I spent the money or if I kept the money and put it in a envelope, the total is still always going to be the exact amount allocated. So we're just going to mark off $300 on that one. It doesn't matter what that adds up to. And you'll see how that money... Um, impacts our binders later on when we do the unstuffing. Amazon Prime, I only use $100 as far as this subscription is concerned. I use $100 out of the pay money that I received on June the 14th. I am pulling 40 additional dollars from the subscription sinking fund to help account for the remaining and so that there will be $140 available in the bank on the 20th when that amount um, is due to be paid. So it's just 100 right here. You'll see the other 40 someplace else. All right, so that's that 100 that, the, that you see here for subscriptions um, for the total. All right, so now let us, and I'm gonna, let's see here. Let's write this in. I'm gonna take this off so I can just take this sheet out and let's document on the side. That's 24.75 was the total as far as my income is concerned. And for expenses, 19, 300, 100 equals $419. So minus 419. You take that away and that should leave $2,056 that we are working with. And I'm gonna put that in green as well. $2,056 is what we're working with. Alrighty, next, as far as debt is concerned, I did pay the additional amount to Kohl's that I planned on. So I had myself a note, <clears throat> excuse me, that I needed to pay them $143. Um, and I went ahead and manually made that payment and it's already come out of the account. Green Sky is expected to take out 90 and auto will be 503. Both of those come out on the 19th. I'm gonna go ahead and write those amounts in. They never change and I'm not paying anything extra. Is that black? It is 503 and 90. So that total should still be 736. So we're on, on point as far as that's concerned. Next here, uh, subscriptions. Um, how much I put in there was $40. You see that. Uh, family binder. I did a little bit less there. So I did not mark these in green or red. It was a last minute decision to help account for an unbudgeted expense. Um, so I just went ahead and write it, wrote it in, sorry. So for the family binder, I budgeted 120, but I only gave myself 100. Um, personal binder, I still did the 20. June challenge, I still did the 30. For sinking fund, let's see how this adds up. So I did give $40 for a Xerxes. I gave $50 for emergency. 
I did 150 for property insurance, $50 for utilities. And then you'll notice here, I've got um, car maintenance, I gave $50. Date night, I gave $50. I have that in green. It matches over here, the money that Sweets gave me. So that's what we decided to do with that 100 extra dollars that he provided. And then over here, you've got, I'm, I'm sorry, let's add all of that stuff together, right? Because I did make a few changes there. So that is 40, 120, 30. 40, 50, 150, 50, and then another 100, $580. $580 there. All right, now we're cooking. Okay, I'm budgeted. So hopefully you guys can see that over there in the corner. Um, for bereavement, we decided to give an additional $100 for a funeral um, for a friend of mine. Um, and that's why you have it in red. It was not planned. In blue here is sinking funds. So I tend to use the color blue to show that I'm pulling money from a sinking fund that I have. Not the variable everyday expenses, but an actual sinking fund. I went to Hobby Lobby and I spent $25 and I'm going to need to unstuff that. Um, I spent that for bracelets and then for, and well, the the products to use to make a bracelet set. I'm going to make a bracelet stack to sell um, for my gems business. So then we have Amazon Prime that I'm going to take out that $40 from the subscriptions. And that's we're going to add that to the $100 so that I'll have $139 available on June the 20th for them to remove or draft out of my account. So 100 plus 25 plus 40 equals 165. So that's $165. And I got reds and blues, but I don't have, I don't know what color it should be. So I'm just gonna say here, unbudgeted is $165. All right. And then next extra savings and investments you see here. I'm not giving anything to public this time, although I do have up here who I want to put invest some money in. Roth IRA, nothing this time. Monday minis, I backed that down from $60 to $50. I'm going to mark that in red because I'm saving less. So that's $50 there. All right, so let's see what our totals are now for this week. $24.75 was my income. I have minus 419 for expenses, minus 736 for debt. Um, it's 580 for my sinking funds, so minus 580. Um, investments, I'm going to add um, this 50 along with the 165 for unbudgeted since I only have one spot left. 165 plus 50 equals $215 and I'll leave that in black. Minus 215 and I'm going to mark here that that is sinking savings and investments and unbudget. I'm going to write unbudget in there plus unbudget. All right, now let's see where we're at. That is $24.75 minus $4.19 minus $7.36 minus $5.80 minus $2.15 equals $525. So I should be rolling over. I'm going to mark it in red. It's a little bit less than I planned. Um, I'm going to should be rolling over $525 five dollars all right so that is my weekly budget check-in for the week of june 14th through june the 20th i am rolling over 525 dollars i'm gonna go ahead and let's go to the next page here all right so you know what we don't have time for that well we have time for some of it i'm gonna do a separate page 
or a separate video now for my check-in as far as my envelopes are concerned um, because I haven't done my unstuffing yet. So as far as my weekly check-in for my meal plan, um, I did not end up having to cook on Saturday, so I saved that and I might use it for today. I'm not sure. I decided not to buy these loaded baked potatoes for Wednesday. So Sunday, I did make um, Father's Day meal. Um, I expected to spend uh $38 and I think that's what I spent on that one was 38 on that one. I did buy the items as far as to make some tacos. I have not made them yet. I was expecting to spend $27 but I ended up spending $21 instead. And then for the loaded baked potato um, bar that I wanted to do, um, we decided not to do that. So that's going to be a zero for that. I'm probably not going to cook today. Um, but Sweets left to go home <laughs> to South Carolina. This is his home in Georgia too. But he left to go home because he has to take care of some stuff before we go on vacation. So I may end up having to cook Thursday. We shall see. But for right now, um, I was anticipating spending $77 on groceries for the for those couple of days. And I spent $38 plus $21. I actually spent $59 instead. Sweets, why you left me to cook, man? All right. All right, so it was a total of $20, $59 as opposed to $77, if you guys can see that down at the bottom. All right, and then this part, as far as our weekly check-in on the amounts um, that are left over in my everyday expenses, we will do that as a part of the cash unstuffing. We're already at 16 minutes for this video, so it looks like I'm going to have to split them up. I'm not going to be able to do them together. Now that we have finished off, though, on... The budget check-in, I'm going to go in here and I can at least clean out my change that I got over here in the corner. So we take that out and then these are some receipts that I will scan later. So we got a little bit of change. We had a little bit of cash. So now we have a little bit of change. All right. Let's bring out the tower. And we've got a couple of quarters. All right, I got one dime, and I got one nickel, and no pennies this time. So let's let slide that back, and we are good to go. So that is it for the weekly budget check-in. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this cash unstuffing done as well, but it will be a separate video that I will load. Thank you, everybody, for hanging in there with me. You guys have a good one.